welcome back, everybody. How's it going? How is your day? 23 Ice Fire here. Uh, here to show you just a quick little tidbit and then jumping into the main course. So I was in with a friend and their server and I live right next to a uh, village. And the two last surviving villagers were inside this house. So I decided to board them up and turn them into a villager trading center right here. So, you can trade with them. Okay, I'll take, I have an emerald now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, but you'll notice it says open from sunrise to sunset. So, the reason for that is because at night I noticed that zombies would not even care about me if I was right next to them or bump into them because they were interested in the villagers. And I thought, why not turn it into just a, uh, a real simple uh, mob grinder? And you may notice that there is, you know, it's simple redstone. Uh, and it operates off of a daylight timer. We'll go into that in a sec. Let me just show you how it works. So let's switch it. It activates at uh, 12,500, which when is when it just hit sunset. So you can hear that all of these just opened. But to zombies, this block right here is uh, a full block. So it's not realizing that it's air, so it's going to fall right through. So let me spawn a couple of these. There you go. Ooh, got one full armor. And they'll just go fall right in. And boom, they go right through the lava, and let's go ahead and bring this up right here. Uh, and you'll notice, sorry about the fire. There we go. You'll notice that it's not uh, lava's right here. That's because uh, I don't want them to, to fall down and then, like, do this, where they start bouncing like they're holding upwards, and then they just catch on fire and they you lose the items. You want it to be that they gain enough momentum that they fall right through into the hopper system. Now, we'll show their hopper system in a sec, and these are just being held up by, uh, by signs, a very simple, simple design that you've seen pretty much everywhere. And this is, you know, uh, just like, you know, well, duh, I mean, and who really needs rotten flesh, but really, when you think about it, you can feed it with your dogs, or really, it can be a food source if you have to come to that. And to be honest, you know, it takes five minutes to set up, really, and it's, you know, free a free mob grinder that just takes a sec. Now, uh, these stones, uh, sandstone slabs need to be here. They can be whatever slabs they need to be. But if they're right here, then the zombies are just going to stop right on the edge on this part right here. So this gives them that uh, reason to push but uh, to go onto this block. But instead of hitting that, they go a little too forward and it makes them fall through. Uh, same for right here and right there and all that. So, uh, some important things that you want to realize is, uh, first off, you have to have a door blocked off. You don't want to have a wood door. Uh, secondly, you need to have this space right here. Um, you need to have pretty much these dimensions, not exactly over here, but the problem is if this is any closer, then the zombies are just going to walk up right here and try to get them because the villagers are too close. Oops. Uh, so let's go through this. So... We have a daylight sensor right here. Really simple thing to build, just with a bit of quartz. And we have a bit of redstone leading down here. And this is where the breaker point happens. So let's turn this back on. So uh, you see it fills up to right here. So this is this is the point where uh, at, uh, let's like here, let's show down at 12,000, uh, that it's almost a dead signal. So if I were to go to 12,000, like 300, it, it's getting dimmer and dimmer, but it only activates only after 12,500. So let's go back to 6,000. So, uh, as you notice, when it gets daylight again, when there is a sunrise, uh, these re-close. So you're able to freely go up and trade with them. So here's the redstone. Like I said, real simple. Uh, let's just go ahead and break through this right here. It's just being operated off of, off of these four... Uh, torches and uh, you do need these right here unless uh, yeah you do need these because if you were to put the redstone right here you would still need to put those two right here uh real basic you know like i said it takes five minutes so let's go ahead and head down so this is the uh the collection chamber we have two hoppers going into these two hoppers and bring it down here. You know, like I said, you know, it's not an obscene amount. You're not getting stacks and stacks and stacks. But, you know, you leave this to go by your house or by your base. Just, you know, sort of as an AFK thing. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll collect a decent amount after a while. And really, you know, why not? So that's about it from here. Let's jump on over to the main course. 
Hello everybody, and we're back onto the main spotlight. Alright, so this is a jail for a vanilla server. Now, it does require command blocks, but, uh, you know, if you have someone who's opt, uh, or if you are an opt for your server, this is for you. So, Troy over here is going to be our guinea pig. He is going to be our crook. He did some unimaginable crime. He probably murdered someone and cooked them alive and ate them. So, uh, Troy, why don't you uh, head on out and go run amok? be crazy okay so troy's running outside and he's going crazy and he's trying to murder people and someone uh says you know hey uh, admin this guy's you know doing bad things imprison him so i can go into the warden's office and we have a transfer station and imprisonment station right here so i'm gonna go ahead and hit imprison pyro troy and there you go. See, see, now it says convict pyro troy was killed by magic now you can see i'm a councilman even though normally i'm the head builder uh, due to lag, oops, I'm gonna close that. Uh, I'm switched to councilman. So this is the cell block, and this is the transfer cell hub. So right now Troy is stuck in there, and right now he's just seeing absolute pitch oh, black. Oh, you let me out! Oh, I'm so angry. And uh, so this is what happens when he gets t uh, when I hit that imprisonment button, it teleports him down into here. So we'll, we'll go over the redstone in a minute. But what it does is it teleports him right here and he drops onto that pressure pad. Now that pressure pad does several things. One is it sets him to game mode two so he can't break objects. Uh, two, it sets him to the spawn point of that room that he was in. So even if he kills himself, he'll teleport back to that spot if he's not pardoned. And it gives, uh, oh, actually I should go over here. Um, it uh, sets his status to 100, which is a scoreboard function that I have set up that I may go into another day. Uh, that sets him to a convict. Um, and then over here it sets uh, keep inventory to false and then keep inventory to true. So that keep inventory to false right here, the, s the split second sets it to false, it gives him this potion effect, which is instant damage times 100 for one second. Uh, so that means it kills him instantaneously, even if he has a bunch of armor on, which he did. Uh, and then it sets it back to true, so no one else loses their stuff. So as you can see, uh, this wasn't his stuff, so I'll go ahead and take it out. I gave him a set of these things right here. Gave him a sponge, a lapis block, a uh, projectile protection, and his armor. I'm going to go ahead and clear this. So, uh, it's sitting here right now, and it's waiting to get transferred down into this dropper. But that's because I haven't set it any place to go. So, as a uh, warden, I come down here, and I say, okay, let's let's go look down here. Let's see what chest is, what, what chest is available. Let's go ahead, and let's do chest six. So, in order to transfer his personal belongings, I'm going to go ahead and hit chest 6, then I'm going to hit confirm. And now you're going to hear that dropper working now. So what it's doing is it's transferring, uh, all. it just transferred all the items and it's going into a dropper system. So let's go ahead and follow it, follow it down here. And you notice it doesn't constantly click, it only does it when there's items in it. So it takes it to this hopper system and there's, there's, uh, there's a few hoppers right here. And then there's this overflow hopper right here. Uh, so what you see is back there, what I activated was this right here. So this one gets turned off. So all of these are locked. So the items will just bounce over it until it hits the one that's unlocked. Uh, now, if all of these were locked, uh, i.e. all of these were turned on, then it would go into this right here, which is the overflow system. So it goes into this hopper system way back here. I know this is a lot of hoppers. Uh... So that's kind of a problem. We're going to go ahead and follow the overflow system. This is it right here. And they're all color coded, so it's easier to see. We're going to, oop, hold on, come on, door. Thank you. Not that door. Come on. Okay. So you'll see the items are all properly transferred into cell chest six, and we'll just activate that. And if something gets stuck into the overflow, it just drops into that chest. So nothing is ever lost. Uh, and that's only in the case of like someone does, maybe someone doesn't press this and they hit the confirm button. So. We're going to go ahead and back up. So Troy's been patiently sitting there. He's been a very good convict. Thank and you. we're going to go ahead and transfer him to, let's say, cell 3. Let's go ahead. Oh, uh, cell 3 is a little under maintenance. <laughs> let's go ahead and do cell 5. Now they have a bit of a stale bread to uh, feed them. They have a bed that they can sleep in and whatnot. So let's transfer him to cell 5. Boom. And automatically, without any chance of him trying to escape... He gets transferred to cell 5. Uh, now, Troy, even if I open the door, he's got uh, slowness. 
uh, potion on right now, and he is, he can't really move around much. Uh, he's, you know, as you can see, he's sprinting right now, and he, he can barely move, so, you know, really these cells are aesthetic. Plus, he can't break any of the items, because he is in, uh, uh, ammo too, so, and, what? Plus, I have haste. Yes, he has haste as well, so that means, actually, when he swings, it takes him a long time, because he has haste zero, and jump boost zero. And slowness, zero. So pretty much he can't move, he can't really jump, and he can't break anything. Uh, so we'll go ahead and look through his perspective in a second. But anyways, let's head back up. Oh yeah, we have warden outfits and uh, warden batons and all that. Uh, for the warden to wear in case somehow uh, his buddy breaks him out. But anyways, let's go ahead and hit transfer cell 5. So that transfers whoever's in cell 5 into uh, this chamber. So as the judge, which usually is the mayor... Uh, you got the judge's wig, and you got the book and quill. They will have a meeting uh, with a few people here as witnesses to talk about, you know, Pyro Troy, you have been convicted of burning people alive and eating them. What do you I'm plead? Sorry, I didn't mean it. What do you plead? Plead guilty. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in that case, then we would hit uh, transfer prisoner back to Sulhub, which would take him back there, but. If he's been good and we decide, okay, you've lived out your sentence, we will hit pardon. Which uh, will set him. Let's teleport to him. Actually, uh... Well, anyways, it, it takes him back to spawn. And it sets him to game mode uh, zero again, so sur to survival. And it takes him back to a stranger, which is the lowest uh, class you can have on this server. And uh, that means he has to go through and read all the stuff again to become a newcomer. So let's go ahead and teleport Troy here. Give it a sec. Have you respawned yet, Troy? I'm here. I don't know. Oh, I'm having a... Oh, yeah, there you are. I'm okay. Here. So, uh, let's go ahead and status... Oh, God. Scoreboard. Players. Bad. Our Troy status... Uh, 50. Okay. So now he's back to a councilman. So now... We're going to reverse the roles, and I'm going to be the bad guy, so you can see exactly what a prisoner goes through. Okay, so we're going to take it from the top. Um, so now I'm the bad guy. I'm, uh, I'm putting down TNT. I'm going, to, I'm going to destroy the world. <laughs> oh, you're dirty right, kids. I'm going to go, oh, God, oh, God. I'm so mad. I'm going to put you in jail. And, yeah, and then they find out, you know, a bad admin. And, well, and there we go. So I am now dead. And I've respawned in the chamber. I know it's very hard to see. There's some pressure pads right there. I'll turn up the... Yeah, there you go. Derp vision. Uh, and so now... Tro up there, Troy. Um, he's going to transfer me to cell 5. Up oh, there I am. Now I'm in cell 5. Do not change game mode. You will be banned. That is true. So, uh, yeah. I cannot move. I am I am jumping. I am punching. I am running around. He, he I can do absolutely nothing. I can eat bread, though. So if I get hungry... Uh... And I, yeah, I'm stuck here. I am just, I can't do a thing. <laughs> so. Now it's my job uh, to send them, and we're going to have a little trial. Oh, no. All right, so ah, now I am in the courtroom because he just uh, transferred the cell. And he's going to go ahead and do the whole ship heal. And then the the bang bang, and then the blah blah blah, and the blue blue blue, and now we're gonna. I say played insanity. <laughs> so so since he's insane, uh, we pardon him, pardon him as a person. Yay! And then ah, there we go. And the then I'm back at spawn. And ta-da! And then giant flapjack six x with his head cut off, sort of. There we go. Uh yeah, and so let me go ahead and ah, see I can't. Uh, as the stranger, I have to now go through the rules and regulations bit. And yes, it get, puts on s slowness because it makes you read the rules and give me a sec, Troy. I'll be right there. I'm abiding by the law. Give oh, me a okay. And that's not supposed to be there. That kind of annoys me. And here we go. And now I'm a newcomer. So that pretty much sets me into game mode zero and I still have mining fatigue, of course, because I can't, and I'm not supposed to break stuff here. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and switch me up to 50, and game mode 1, and let's go ahead and fly back over to the jail. 
Uh, let's just teleport. Because we're lazy. Everybody pop it a boo. Okay, and yeah, so let's get back into the redstone of the things. All right. Yeah, so, stay up here and clean. So <laughs> let's look at the imprisoned. So let's look at a prison. So this is, um, if it's a bigger server, this is going to be kind of a problem because you're just going to have to create more command blocks. We're still working on a workaround for this, but so let's let's go ahead and look at Pirate Troy. So it says TP Pirate Troy, and it puts that there, which is the uh, death chamber. And then here's like the transfer cell, which is a teleport within certain dimensions, within five blocks radius uh, to uh, the uh, that that area. Let's go ahead and look down there. Okay, so the cell hub. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. So there you are. Uh, just real simple, four by four uh, pressure plates. So. Um, Okay, so the way it works is the way if it's if it's being held down, uh, it's activating one of these, and uh, these pressure plate or these buttons push a lever or a, a piston, which will uh, bridge the gap to this. So these buttons can't just get randomly pressed and teleport anyone. It has to be someone has to be in the chamber. So it's sort of a failsafe. Uh, let's head back downstairs now to the bulk of the redstone. So yeah, you always want to stay behind this in case you don't get hurt. And then there's the... Uh, yeah, this is a manual kill. If there's ever lag in the server, you can hit that button. It'll just kill them. So let's go ahead. And Troy didn't uh, hit the button, so this stuff's down here. So let's go ahead and go through the redstone. Uh, right here is the chest setup display. Now this right here is a T flip flop, a one by one T flip flop. Uh, this is not my own design, but let's go ahead and just break through right here and push it. So there you go. Now this is activated. Uh, it's a real simple design. So that turns it on and off. So let's go down here. So these are just designed like this so they don't get in interfered with each other. And uh, let's go ahead and look at these right here. These are designed like this, like I said, so they don't overlap. And it hits this right here. Uh, this is the hopper system, so let's go ahead and fly on over here. A little bit of lag. Let's go ahead and push this button. There we go. So this turns this off, which allows this to be quote unquote open, and transfers it down into this abyss of hopperness. And I believe it starts right here, and it just continues its way. Uh, actually, continues its way right down here, and then it takes a sharp turn, and it continues its way down here, and I'm starting to just slowly jiggle through these and it continues right to be right there so uh, if you guys ever want me to go into more detail on build I am more than happy to uh, that is pretty much the gist of it oh uh, actually I forgot about this right here the confirm button the confirm button is uh, what sends so the confirm is right here and that activates uh, this hopper right here. So this hopper is like, no, I'm not going to accept anything from this chest. But the second this gets turned off, boop, uh, oh, it takes it down there. And then the dispenser, which is running on a timer, uh, but the, the timer that only works if there's an object in there. We better toss this back down there. So this is going to be running for a while because there's a lot of TNT. Uh, there we go. There we go. And it just turns off like that. Let's just go ahead and toss these things. So now you're going, wait a minute, we didn't activate anything. So where did it go? It went down to the overflow. Oh, actually, I, never mind. I <laughs> just kidding. I had it uh, go to chest five, I believe. Maybe six. I'm not sure. Let's go find out. Six. Okay, six. So come on down. And what do you know? It's all in chest six. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we're back with Minecraft. Uh, be expecting a whole new uh, series that is out of this world. <laughs> uh, but oh. yes, this is very useful for um, admins to use. Like I said, it's completely vanilla. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching.